So people ask me, Bazza, you're a sports champion. You're a spectator sporting legend, mate. What do you think about all these cyclists? Well, they're all cyclists are dopers, mate. That's the only sport that dopes. Now, swimming. Swimming is a clean sport. Now, as an Australian, I'm very proud of... Now, this chap I'm about to talk about, he should be part of the Australian Fauna Collection. Ian Thorpe. Thorpey. The Thorpedo. The guys in the budgie smugglers. Now, I'll tell you what, Ian Thorpe, clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. He won those races because of his big feet. That's all it is to it. Yeah, I mean, his coach, uh, what's his name, Turetsky, yeah, he got busted with steroids. He got busted with stands and all. So, yeah, Ian Thorpe's coach got busted with steroids, if you see a link below. I mean, but that doesn't mean the athlete's taking it. I mean, if you're winning Olympic records and setting world records and your coach gets busted with steroids like stands and all, it doesn't mean you're on it. You're clean. Those swimmers are clean. They get tested. You know, it's really hard to, to, to fool a blood test at the Olympics. I mean, you get three strikes and you're out. So you get to fail two tests by not turning up. But if you don't turn up for that third test, you're, you're out of there. So in any 18th month period, if you adopt the Australian Sports Doping Agency knocks on your door and you're not there when you said you should have been, that's one strike. If that happens again, that's two strikes. That's okay. No one hears about that. Third strike, that's a positive test. You're fucked. So as long as you miss those two tests, if you have to, there's a bit of a backup plan, a bit of a parachute, that's all right. Third strike, you better be fucking tested and you better make sure you're not glowing. You better have them directs pumped through your system or you're going to be fucked. But anyway, Ian Thorpe, he's totally clean. Ian Thorpe's not a doper. That's just hard work and perseverance. The fact that his coach was busted with steroids and charged by a Sydney police, that's just a coincidence. Nothing to do with Ian at all. Ian wouldn't dope because he's a fucking Australian, that's why. And you know why Ian didn't dope? Because he's not a fucking cyclist. And those cyclists dope. Swimmers never take drugs.